Hello, hi everybody. Good day to everyone. Uh, privileged to be on the screen this evening. This is a very wonderful day. It's a bright day, even though it's cool here in Texas. But my dear, Texas is beautiful, and I believe everybody is also doing good over there. My name is Kemi Sola at DBC popularly known as Elegant, and I'm very happy to be here this evening. This is our uh, a talk show, a business talk show that uh, uh, always comes to your screen every Tuesday, 5 p.m. But I want to use this time to apologize for a little delay that we had today. We came in uh, late today, but I believe uh, most of you are already waiting to, uh, you know, uh, join me on the screen today. It's going to be very interesting, informative, and educative as usual. My name is Kemisola Adekunle. Today we are discussing 10 small businesses that can give you quick money. 10 small legal businesses that you can do that will earn you more money and i'm not the only one on the show today on this uh program today i have my wonderful lady in the house she is an entrepreneur she is a strong woman she's a businesswoman, and then she uh, uh she is in the house today when it is time for you to meet her you will know her and the, one of the reason why we i always bring this program to you is to encourage other women out there who are into business or who are thinking of going into business or who are afraid to go into business. If you are one uh, person like that or you you know anybody like that, I will encourage you to please tag the lady, tag the woman, tag the man, tag them and let them know that a talk show like this is on. We are here on your screen to encourage you, to let you know that you can do it. Business is very interesting, it's very lucrative, even though it's challenging, but good thing Great things happen to great people only if they can take a great step in life. My name is Kemisola at DBC Elegant. Tonight is going to be a very wonderful night. And uh, as I told you earlier on, we have a very interesting topic in the house. Ten good businesses that you can do that will give you good money. But before I continue on the show today, I'd like to take a short break and I will be back with you. Stay tuned. Welcome back to your screen. Thank you so much for joining. I have my wonderful sister uh, watching this program this evening, uh, Aduke Omolewa. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for always being there. Hansi Aduke Ahelio Shonma, Your Highness Ma. Business is very interesting. Business is good and it's a good thing that can happen to you that you would love. Yes. And uh, today, today are uh, 10 businesses that can earn you good money is what we are talking about today and number one thing i want you to note is business is good business is interesting and uh, only those who can you know you know who are focused passionate and strong can engage into business i encourage you to do business because um it's allow you to manage your time it gives you more money and is a very good means of uh, you becoming yourself and becoming your own boss yes uh, today we're talking about 10 good businesses that gives you more money number one business i want to talk about is uh having a clothing line business having a clothing line business to do this type of business you do not need to uh know how to sew 
You don't need to uh, have a machine. You don't need to go and learn how to sew. All you need to do is to have the passion. All you need to do is to have to be creative. Be have a pa a fashion idea. Be fashionable. Be fashionate. You know, you have to be somebody that is really good at fashion for you to be able to engage in the, into this type of business. As this will enable you and help you to be able to choose a very good product good designs on common products, products which is not common, that is not, you know, like for example now, if you go to Walmart, if you buy clothes in Walmart, and by the time you go out there, in one day you will see 10 people, 20 people wearing the same clothes. But what if you are a a, a business, a, a business a clothing line business person, and then you have your own clothing line, and your designs are not common, they aren't common at all. So people will be will be able to buy it from you. When people buy it from you, they know they are buying something unique. They know they are buying something fashioned. They know they are buying something quality. They know they are buying. When they come to you, when they hear the name of your company, they know your complaints. I mean, the name signifies, uh, you know, uh, perfect beauty and uh, expert stuff. So going for a clothing line business is very easy. All you need to do is to register your business name. After registering your business name, um, look for companies that you can buy the clothes from them. You can even make clothes by yourself. Look at the dress I'm wearing. Do you know you can make something like this? All you need to do is, if you have the money, buy the machines, employ fashion designers that know how to sew, employ, create different departments, the cutting department, measurement department, the sewing department, the packaging department, buy the material for them, just draw your own design and give it to them, let them cut and sew and do everything. Before, you, because this what every clothes you wear is being made by people. I want you to know, the clothes you are wearing now is being made by somebody. Somebody designed it. Even it will be it will be a surprise that the person might not even know how to sew, but he or she probably have people under him, you know, that sold it for him and is selling it. Clothing night business is now a very good lucrative business now that you can do and uh, you, you're going to enjoy it. I have at the, uh, Adiola Oshewa on the screen. Adiola Oshewa on the screen. She said, so proud of you. Congratulations. Keep up the great job. Thank you, Auntie Adiola. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, it's a very good business for you to have a clothing line business. You don't need to know how to sew before you do that. You just All you need is the passion before you do and you don't need to have a lot of money before you do that you can with with uh, like two hundred dollar three hundred dollar you can order for clothes online and put your own designs i mean your own tag on it and sell it out to people you can even consult some complaints that can sew in large quantity for you different sizes of one particular material and you can sew in different sizes and distribute it out to, to people. When people see it, you can be your own model. Wear it on. When you wear it on gorgeously with, with boldness and people see it on you, they'll be like, oh, I love this on you. Where did you buy it? You tell them, I sell it. Then people start buying from you. What about that? Have it at the back of your mind. Business is lucrative and you must be very strong. You must be, you must be prepared to go into business because business is sweet. I tell you, I love business. The second uh, uh, point I want to discuss this afternoon is um, wedding planning. Wedding planning. You see, now everybody wants to get married now. It's so interesting. Everybody wants to get a wedding. Sheyi Shalom, Mr. Sheyi Shalom, you're watching the program. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, business, uh, wedding planning is very lucrative now because everybody are getting married. The rate of which people are giving birth is increasing. So when the birth is increasing, the wedding is increasing also. So before you know it now, in one week, especially in Texas, yeah, in a week, more than three, four, five people get married in one week. So what if you are a good wedding planner you know how to plan you are very smart you have you can think fast you can make things happen for people i know about some bride that want to get married next year they are still thinking of where to get their wedding gown from all you need to do is to go online tell them where to get their wedding gown from give them different prices different quality different designs what they expect talk to them persuade them bring them to take them to different halls you know you you must have more than at least five or ten uh, different halls with different prices depends on what they want 
being a, a, a wedding planner is a very good business and it doesn't take a lot from you because all you need to do is to tell your clients you can do it and let them see it in you that you can do it and you help them to plan their wedding meet with the bride meet with the parent talk with them ask them what they want how they want it the type of party they want where they are you know how it depends on what they want then you know how to go about it if you do it most of you do this thing for free you don't even know you do it for free you help your church member to plan their birthday you help your church member to plan their thanksgiving and before you know it everything is very it's the program went smoothly without stress why don't you turn the passion into money Turn your passion into money. It's a very good business that you can do that you, you would love. I want you to please help me. For those of you online looking at this program, please share the program. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Don't be the only one watching this program. And I, I believe this program is going to bless a lot of people. A lot of people are thinking about small businesses they can engage in. I'm just sharing this with, with you for you to know that there are a lot of businesses out there that you can do. Another one I want to talk about is buying and selling online. Online. Buying and selling online is very, very good. It's a very, very, very good one. Mr. Shei Shalom says, I love this. Very informative, ma'am. You speak like you've got too much to share. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shei Shalom. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah, the passion I have to have been, you know, for me to bring this program to people is because I don't like people suffering. I hate it when women like me tells me, oh, Kemi, I've been sitting at home for long. Oh, Kemi, I don't have money. Oh, Kemi, I don't want to bother my husband. The man has been good and is the only one doing everything. No. It is time for women like me to come out. It's time for you to start doing something. There are little businesses that you can do. This, these businesses are not going to take much of your time. And even though they take much of your time, they get you more money and you are free. What do you think about that? Yes. Another business uh, I brought to you this evening is um, buying and selling online. Think about it. Most of you go online. You buy stuff online. You buy stuff. You so some of you don't even like to go to Walmart or go to Kroger or go to any other store. All you do now is go online, Google for the store, and buy your stuff online. You go to AliExpress, you buy from AliExpress, you buy from eBay, you buy from, uh, oh, you know, from Amazon. You can put your product on Amazon. Do you know that? Do you know you can put your stuff on eBay? You can put it on uh, Amazon, on all social media that sell stuff for you to make more money. You don't even need to, you see, most of you will be like, I don't have a lot of money to buy, to stock, to stock my products. You don't even need a lot of money. Let me teach you something. For example, if you, you want to sell, look at the jewelry I have on me now. If you are selling this jewelry, oh, it's off. If you, you, you love this jewelry, you bought it, you use it, you like it, you want to be reselling it to people. All you need to do is to buy, buy this jewelry, like about two or three of it, buy them. And when you buy the jewelry, uh, keep it and uh, post the pictures on your, make sure you create an account with, for example, if you want to put your product on eBay. Make sure you create an account with eBay, and it's going to be a seller account. Make sure you meet all their requirements. You fill everything they ask you to do. And after that, they will, they will request for the picture of what you sell. Give them pictures, beautiful pictures of what you sell. Send it to them and let them know. There is, there, there is a, a lot of requirements that are very easy. They are not stressful that you will meet to do that. And when you do that, you don't even need to stock a lot of stuff. You don't need a lot of stock. You understand? All you need to do is just have two or three. For example, even if you don't have money to buy, you know you can even do this. For instance, if I want to sell this cloth now, or the jewelry, I just give you an example, and I don't even have the money. Okay, put the pictures online on your, on your, on your, uh, on your, on the, um, on the social media, on the platform you want to sell them. I mean, if you post the picture on uh, eBay, for example, and people go on eBay to buy, to buy it. It's, you, you can extend the day of the delivery and arrival. For example, if you can tell me it's going to take me like 10 business days for the products to arrive to me. In those 10 business days, you know it's going to take you five business days to buy the product from the company. And it's going to take you another five business days to ship it to me. So when I pay you the money... It happens to you when you pay online. They tell you it will take 15 to 10 business days before it arrives. Some of them don't even have the product in their stock. 
Immediately you pay them. They use your own money to buy the product from the company and ship it to you. So between the time it arrives from the company they bought it from and the time it arrives to you, 10, 15 business days is gone and they get their money. You can do the same thing too. You don't need a lot of money to stock a lot of, you know, products. You understand? I, I hope you, you do understand what I just said now. Okay. Uh, I thank every one of you online. I can see somebody is online. I can't even pronounce the name you're watching. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we want to go uh, on a, a very short musical break and I will be back. Remember to share this program. Love you. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. to the screen uh, i want to know if the those of you watching this program if you really put your mind in the points I've, i said earlier on the topic today is 10 businesses that can bring you quick money and i believe the first one i talk about is um the first one i talk about is um the first one oh the second one is a uh, uh, wedding planning the third one is a clothing line and then the the first one is, what did I talk about the first time? Oh my, okay, okay. The first one is a uh, clothing line. The second one is a uh, um, uh, wedding planning. And the third one is selling and buying on uh, social on a, um, um, social media platform. Okay. Um, I have uh, Bola Olobe BC watching. Bola Olobe BC, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking on the screen. Another topic I'll discuss with you today is um, I know many of you don't put this in my but it's very it's a very good lucrative business. Graphic designs, graphic designs. Oh my goodness, graphic design is a very good business that women or you know that it doesn't give you stress you can do it from your house you can do it from your comfort zone it's very easy so far you know how to manipulate the system you know how to draw you know how to do this with the computer even if you don't know it there are some little courses that you can take online on how to become a very good graphic designer you can make business cards for people you can make flyers for people you can make wedding cards for people you can even design a uh, um, um, electronic uh, flyers and other stuff for people. It's a very good business that brings money to people. And you know, a lot of people are printing banners, people are printing t-shirts, printing everything. Now it brings a lot of money. All you need to do is to develop yourself on it, investigate about it, plan and uh, buy a good computer and uh, a good internet. 
in your comfort zone and start making flyers for people. There are a lot of apps there that you can use to even make a, a flyer for people. You can use to make um, um, business cards for people and it will bring money to them. Another thing I want to talk about is photography. Most people think, in the olden days, we think it is only the men that can do this. No. Women can be a photographer and they make good money. All this wedding, you yourself, you have attended more than 50 weddings in this year. Out of those 50 weddings, if they give you 10 uh, contract of being their photographing photographer don't you know you're gonna make money yes photographic is making a lot of money now even though everybody have camera on their phone but the professional aspect of it still tells so if you are a professional photographer all you need is a very good camera and you are you are so passionate about it and you know how to take from any angle um, you make good money good cool money instead of you to sit in the house and be telling your husband you don't have money you just have to start something now. Start something. It's a very good business, and it doesn't take your time. It doesn't take much time, and you make good money from it. All right. Because of our time, I won't be able to go far on the 10 topic. We talk about five now. Next week, I will continue on it. And let me give you another idea. The food business is good. The sewing business is good. The interior designer is good. What about you becoming... Do you know one thing that is so funny in, in this part of the world that we are is you can be a, a dog uh, uh, nanny, a pet nanny, or a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good money. For those of you that don't like dogs, you know if you are a dog petter, you pet dogs, when the owner of the dogs are traveling, they bring their dogs to you. Uh, you you don't you you don't do a lot with dogs. All you need to do is to feed the dogs, give the dogs food, walk around the compound with the dog, and you make your money per hour. In fact, I want to do. If you have dogs, bring them to my house. <laughs> I will take care of them. It's a lot of money. Most of you will be like, ah, these are good money that does it. They don't even stress you out. How you the, the owner of the dogs just wants to be sure that their dog is in a safe end. You can do this type of business. It's a very good like dog petting. They call it dog petting. You have a dog. The people bring their dogs to you, and all you do is say, hey, Lily, give it food. Hey, Lily, you take him around the compound. Before you know it, eight hours is gone, and you got your money. $20 an hour is about $160 for eight hours. It's a lot of money, right? Think about it. A lot of business that you don't know uh, that, uh, you know, uh, in this part of the world that is making money for people. I have Elizabeth Ogunlaja on the screen. Thank you so much for joining. Maggie B. Allen. Thank you so much for joining. And also, uh, most of you, I can see some women, they can speak English. They are very, very fluent in English. When they write English, their writing is very, very beautiful. Why don't you turn this gift and this passion to become a proofreading person? You can be a proofreading, you know, professional. When people write an article, you proofread for them. You correct their English. You can correct my English and make money. What do you think? So the error of people, people like, like us that speak big, big grammars, all you need to do is to just use your pen and correct the English and you make good money. Then you will see all these people writing books, people writing articles, giving their contract to you. There is a website that you can even, uh, you know, register on that they will give you some article to, to correct the grammar on there and they pay you for doing that. That's good money. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't do much on you. All you need to do is to apply to the complaint and they will, you know, send some article to your email. You edit for them and they pay you for it. It's good money people are doing it. I'm going to stop here today until next week. But before I stop on this topic today, I have a wonderful guest in the house. And I know most of you are ready to meet my girls. She's a very strong lady. She is very, very strong. She is very, very, very strong. I bet it with you. Uh, you need to meet her. She's very professional. And she is very, very articulate. She is very, very passionate. She is very, 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 she's an, a great entrepreneur. Yes, I met her like about how many years ago. Before I, you know, talk much about my guest, I want to introduce to you my wonderful, beautiful guest. Before I do that, let's have a break, a break, music, musical break. <laughs>
right, welcome back to this wonderful episode of Business Talk today. And I have a wonderful guest in the house. Like I told you earlier on, she is an entrepreneur. She is uh, a fashion stylist. And her name is Lorette Mesher. Hey, Lorette. Hey, Kebi, how you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for coming to the program today. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Our viewers at home, Lorette Mesher is a fashion stylist. And she has been doing this for long. I've seen some of her work and she's doing us she's making us proud as women in this community loret measure can you greet the viewers at home hey hey everybody yeah um i can see that uh, you are a fashion stylist yes ma'am i can tell your glasses tells me you know <laughs> that you actually <laughs> you indeed a fashion stylist uh, uh one of the reasons why we like to bring guests to this program mm -hmm. is to encourage other women out there who are into uh who are planning to be in business or who are already in business okay. to bring women like you to them to tell them that if you can do it they can do it also and then Lorette, what is uh you know the main reason why you decided you know to leave other career and go into fashion my passion drove me here my passion i have just passion about fashion you love fashion yes ma'am where are you from i'm from congo from Congo? Yeah, I'm from Congo, DRC. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. You're from Congo, and when you got here, you decided to be a fashion stylist? No, when I got here, I was a model first. I'm still a model. I am a fashion model. So when I was in Africa, I was a little bit confused about being a fashion designer and a fashion stylist because a lot of people in my country, we think like fashion designer is a fashion stylist as well. This is a big mistake. So I learned so much when I came here. A fashion designer and a fashion stylist is two people different. Oh, wow. Yes, they have really? a big difference between a fashion stylist and a fashion designer. Oh, what does a fashion stylist do and what is the difference between the, uh, the two professions? Yeah, a fashion designer is someone who creates a clothes, who sew. But a fashion stylist is someone who put clothing and accessory together. But a fashion designer can be a fashion stylist too. But a fashion stylist cannot be a fashion designer. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I am a fashion stylist, but I'm not a fashion designer. I cannot create clothes. I can create style, like putting things together for a photo shoot because I work a lot with models because I am a model too, but I'm not a fashion designer. Oh, wow. Yes, oh, ma'am. Man, I'm just getting to know that. <laughs> I thought fashion, fashion stylist, fashion designer, I thought they're the same thing. No, it's different. Oh, okay. So what passion, what is the main passion that brought you to this industry? My love for, for fashion. For fashion. My love for fashion. I have passion. I have a strong love for fashion. So yeah. how did you get into this when you came to the land of America? Uh, when I came here first, I was living in uh, Virginia, Alexandria. So I didn't really think about doing this business because you know when you start like you came in america things is different mm. because in my country we don't speak english we learn english in school but we don't speak in english in lifestyle you know so we speak different language so when i came here i didn't really think about styling business mm. so i moved in uh i came in the united states in 2012 i've been in virginia and maryland for one year then I moved in Dallas, Texas. So in 2017 is when I started modeling. Mm -hmm. I started when I was young, but professionally, it was in 2017. So more I was doing fashion show. I was observing like fashion designer. So I read a lot. Mm -hmm. My secret is I read a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, I am a Google lady. Mm -hmm. So I went to Google. I was like, yes, I want to. I want to start people. I want to dress people because when I see people who don't dress right, that kill my feelings. Oh, wow. Yes, that <laughs> kill my feelings. So I was like, I want to dress people. Oh, wow. So you have to have a knowledge. Hmm. That's the key. Knowledge and the love about passion. Hmm. Love about what you're doing. Passion about what you're doing. Hmm. Because if you don't have passion, you're going to quit. Hmm. Wow. I don't do it for fun. This is my passion. This is my dream. So, wow. yeah, this is what it is. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, viewers at home, we have Miss Lorette Mejo in the house. She is a fashion stylist, and she's been doing this for, for since 2017. No, I started in 2018. 
2018. Yes, 2018. Viewers at home, for those of you that would like to call into the program, the number to call in is 817-717-5685. The number is going to be showing on the screen. For those of you that love to call in, please call in. If you have one or two questions to ask Miss Lawrence, Miss Lawrence Mayor, you can go ahead and start calling in. The line is open now. For those of you that would like to call in. And on the screen with me today, I have... um. Um, um, Mag, Machuku, Vivian, Obi, watching. I have Alayo De Olushegun Richard watching. I have Ayo Ayo Wamiri Omojesu watching. I have James Jacob watching. I have Prince Ade Donya Deyemi also watching and Olu Ade Akpalara watching. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching. Y'all can start calling in. Mr. James, call in now and ask questions. Mr. James is also into fashion and uh, you know fashion industry also. Oh, that's And uh, we're gonna bring him to the screen one of these days. Mr. James, call in now and ask uh, Lorette. She can. Uh, you, I, uh, I think you also do. Is there a difference between a fashion stylist and a model, a modeling? What oh yes, it? it's different. A fashion model is someone who represents the clothes for designer. I, you can represent the clothes for. You can work with stylists too. Oh, they okay. have a big difference. A designer is a designer. Is someone who. Who designs, the clothes, who designs okay, the, the clothes? clothes. Yes, okay. Yes. Then a mod, the modeling, a model is someone, is who someone that represents right, that. that right. When you make the clothes, I model for you. Yeah. If and I'm a designer, I can be I a make good the model. Yeah, I make the clothes. Of course, you can model for me. Oh my gosh! Yes. But yes. I'm not tall. You know that. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> so your yeah. uh, the, the height is not even a limitation when you want to be not a model. here. Oh, not wow. here, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oluade Akbalara, thank you so much for watching. I have another question for you. Uh, what are the challenges that you have come across? Because it, this is America. Yeah. You came from Congo. Mm -hmm. And you are doing this great work. You're making money. Mm -hmm. you, I, I can see that you've worked with a lot of international companies. Yes. What are the challenges? Does, 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 do you face any limitation when you first started this business or not? Uh, in the beginning, yes. It was not easy. It was not easy for people to really trust you. Hmm. Yeah. And it's not easy because for now, I'm working myself. So I don't have an assistant. So I oh, do wow. everything myself. So if you have to style a lot of people, you have to put everything ready yourself. Hmm. Accessory, outfit. It's a lot. It's not something you can just go, oh, let me style you. It go by the skin tone. It go by the body type. It's a lot to do. Oh, so wow. it's not easy. To be honest, it's not. It's more easy for people who are who has like a team. Mm -hmm. People who help them, you know, for the work. But me, I do everything myself. Mm -hmm. No, it's not easy at all. Oh wow. No. It's not easy. Yeah. I have Mr. Banke Balogun watching this uh, uh, the program, Mr. Rotel or more, but thank you all for watching. Please the number to call on. You all can call on and ask any question about business uh on this line right now. 817 717 5685 is the number to call in into the program. The line is open for you. If you want to call, go ahead and give us a call now and we will be glad to answer you and receive your call. I have another question. Yes. Uh, most people that come from Africa mm -hmm. and they want to establish business here in the land of America, one of the chilling they have is they, they are afraid to come out because of their skin color, because of their accent, uh, because of a lot of things, you know. Uh, some of us will be like, I didn't go to school in America, I don't think I can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can see that you... Why? You don't even think about all this before you start into this business. W why? First, I have got... That's my secret. You have God. Yeah, I have God. You both. Know. Yes. And oh second, gosh. I love challenge. I'm not afraid. Hmm. Before I do everything in business, before I launch the right measure, I pray for it. Hmm. That's the big secret, God. God. Yes, God. Yeah. God yeah. is my big secret. We was watching at yeah. home. She said she has the God. Mm -hmm. She prayed. Mm -hmm. And then she 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 has she believed in herself. Yes. For those of you that want to start a business, you want to start business, you don't know how to start. The first thing you can do to encourage yourself is to be bold. Mm. Be determined. Mm. Right. Do not let your color, your accent, your background or anything stop you mm -hmm. from becoming whom you want to become. Right. Your future, your generation is waiting for your own time and they are waiting for your manifestation. Please don't stop and don't allow anything to limit you. 
for doing business is you're going to enjoy it and you're going to love it. We are still waiting for those of you that would like to call. I also have Funto Fadiji watching the program. I have Esther uh, Gabi, Gadibia watching. Olaleye Osubojo, thank you for so much for watching. Komo Ayomi, Lisa uh, McLean, you all are so wonderful and gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching the program today, the program is Business Talk. And we, we just finished talking about 10 business, small business ideas that you can do to earn you money. I will continue on that topic next week. And also in the house with me, I have Miss Lorette Mayo. She is a fashion stylist and she's doing good on this career. And I have brought her to you to... At least to let you know that, uh, you know, you can do it also. If she can do it, she can do it. Or you can do it also. You, so what is, what, like, you, you are into this business now. Yes. Is, do, does it make money? Do you, what, what? I don't know. Do you see good money in this? Is, it, is this a lucrative business that you can encourage other women like you to join? Yes, but for now, I do not make money like I want, but this is the secret when you do business. You you know what I'm going to say. Yeah. You have to be patient. People rush. Hmm. You have to be patient. Hmm. People want the result like today, today. No, you have to be patient. Hmm. Like me, I give myself between two to three years. Hmm. You have to be patient. When hmm. you do business, you have to be patient. Oh wow. Yes. Yes. Patient, patient, mm. patient. Mm. Yeah, the business is lucrative, but you have to be patient because you do not don't expect yourself to be at the peak as soon as you start. Right. Everything has a step, everything has uh, you know uh, a stage. A time to plan is different from the time to launch out. The time you launch out is different from the time it will take you to get clients. And the time you get the client is different from the time you will use to maintain your client, your clientele base. And when you are able to win your clients trust and everything, then your product is out there. People can see your product and mm. they can start buying your product. Mm. Don't forget the program is business talk and my name is Kemi Sola Adebisi. Miss Lawrence yes, what do you have for people out there that would like to do business like you? Oh, I'm going to advise people who want to do business like me as a fashion stylist because I'm not just a fashion stylist. I'm a personal stylist too. I'm a fashion shopper too. I think maybe we can talk about it later, mm -hmm. maybe next time. But today I'm going to talk about being a fashion stylist. First, this is my first advice. You have to have passion. Mm -hmm. Don't do it for fun. I don't do it for fun. You have to have passion and you have to... Uh, you have to be uh, to, you have to have passion about what you're doing and you have to be patient too passion yes oh. passion and mm. patience yeah oh. mm -hmm. so you have you need two p's yeah to be in business you need a passion and you need to be patient yeah i believe uh you uh women out there listening to me you quite understand what i'm trying to uh, what she's trying to explain to us so how many complaints have you been able to work with how many people? Or Complaints, I mean, organization that you've been able to work with? Uh, last year, I worked with uh, Houston Fashion Week. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I went to Houston. I worked with them. And I have a plan to work with a model agency. They just booked me too. Oh, wow. So I'm going to have my first photo shoot with them next month. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. That's good money, baby. Mm, yes, ma'am. You're making money. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. Viewers at home, thank you all so much for watching this program. Mm -hmm. um, my name is uh, Kemi Adebisi, and I am your host on this wonderful episode of Business Talk. Today, we have been able to talk about the businesses that you can do that will earn you money. Remember, we talk about making a business clothing line. What do you think to that? Uh, yes. I'm going to sell my, uh, I'm going to sell clothing in the future. Oh, wow. Yes. That's wow. one of my projects. Oh, wow. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. For those of you that like to wear clothes, design yourself and design everything, and you're thinking about business to do, think about clothing line business. It's a very good, lucrative business. Also, think about being a wedding planner for mm. people. You want to plan wedding for people, people getting wedding, people get doing their birthday, or any occasion in your community. Talk to them that you can plan that, their wedding for them. And don't charge them too much now. <laughs> and then before you know it, they start calling you and you make good money. Okay. Another thing is selling and buying online you know you can buy something on amazon and resell it on amazon do you mm. know that you don't know that okay you can do that you can buy on etsy and sell it on uh, ebay 
You can buy on eBay and sell it on Amazon. You can even buy on AliExpress and resell it on Amazon. It's a very good business. And you do not need a lot of money to do this. All you need to do is to think about what you want to buy and what, how you want to sell them. Another thing I talk about is, I mean, um, a sewing, uh, uh, being a, 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 um, 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 a so, um, fashion designer. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't need to know how to sew to do this. All you need to do is to make sure you have the idea of what you want to make. Make sure you can draft it and you can send it out to people who can sew for you. And when they finish that, you send it out to companies that will buy from you. Yes. All right. Number one thing I want you to have at the back of your mind is your passion speaks for you. Yes. If you don't have passion for business, you might not be able to go into business. Mm -hmm. Number two thing is believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe so much in yourself. Right. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody will believe in you. People will tell you you are too short. Tell them the world needs short people. People will tell you you are too smart. Tell them it takes the smart to make it. Yes. People will tell you you are too dull. Tell them the dull makes money. People will give you different excuses. Don't mind them. I do a lot of businesses. I am a CEO of many of about three businesses. The CEO of Elegant Braiding and Weave Palace, the CEO of Elegant School of Braids in Dallas, and also the CEO of Elegant Event Services. You see, this Elegant Event Services, I anchor a lot of programs, host a lot of programs. When people meet me, they'll be like, are you sure you can be the MC? I will smile. But when I start the program, pick the microphone, they'll be like, oh, she can talk. Yes, mm -hmm. I make money with my passion. You can do the same thing too. Nothing stops you from being what you want to be. Mm -hmm. Are you too short? Go and buy high heels. Mm -hmm. I want you to see some of my high heels one day. You, you will laugh. I'm not too short. Once I put on my heels, I'm making money. <laughs> <laughs> so there is always a solution to every problem. Mm -hmm. So far, you are determined to make it in life. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, viewers, for watching this uh, wonderful episode today. I love every one of you who are taking part in this program. Um, Mr. Um, Bola Olobe says, exactly, you have to love what you do before you can do it endlessly. Thank you, Mr. Mrs. Bola Olobe. It takes time before you can create a niche for a business. So patience is the key. Thank you so much. Yes, she just made a point. Patience, patience, patience is very, very important. Mm -hmm. For those of you who have joined this program today, I really appreciate you all for joining. Thank you so much for being part of this wonderful program. Mm -hmm. Miss Laurette Mayo, thank you so much for coming You're to welcome. this program. Mm -hmm. We hope if we call you next time, you're going to be you know, sure. Sure. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot to talk. Of course, I'm going to be here. You have a lot to talk. Can you share, just just me one or two? We talk about fa just fashion stylists today. I just oh. said I am a fashion, uh, uh, I am a personal shopper too, and I'm a personal stylist. So You are, are a personal shopper? What does a personal shopper do? I can shop for you if you have a wedding and you don't have time to go buy a clothes. That's my job. Oh. I can go buy for you clothes and style you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's another business I'm hearing about. Personal, yes. okay. personal shopper. Okay, you're mm. going to shop for me today no. before okay. we go. <laughs> Viewers at home, my name is Kemi Sola Adebisi, popularly known as Elegant. Call me Elegant and I will tell you, life is elegant. Mm. Thank you so much for joining us on this program today to miss her. Miss Lawrence, we love you. Thank you for coming. Remember, this program is being sponsored by Elegant Women Empowerment Initiative Program. It is an initiative, uh, you know, uh, that's uh, been put together to support women out there who are in business or who want to be in business. Mm -hmm. So if you have any, uh, you know, idea or anything you want to do, you can consult this initiative organization and we're going to help you out on uh, whatsoever you want to do. Uh, thank you so much. On this episode today... Miss Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. On behalf of Elegant Women Initiative oh Program, God. we present you this. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you. Much, thank you so much for coming. Thank we love you. So you. We appreciate you. Thank you so and, uh, much. And we believe you. Thank you for making Africa proud. Okay. Thank you for making women out there proud. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So all the women out there, what are you planning to do? You want to be a business CEO? You cannot do that in your room. You cannot do that by saying it alone. Stop broadcasting. Start now. The time is now. Pick your pen now and start writing your vision. Start writing your plan. Start writing what you want to become in the next 10 years. And I tell you, if you start writing it and you act towards it, you're going to, you know, be who you want to be in life. You do not have any limitation. 
you do not even if the blind can make it you can make it there is no hope lost for anybody all you need to do is to believe in yourself and make sure you can do you and make sure you you know you you you, you are ready to do it you this is this in, in this part of the world even if you don't have money mm-hmm. you can be a business owner yeah. all you need to do is to believe in yourself and take a good step yes my name is Kemisola Adebisi, your host on Business Talk today. Next week is going to be a very wonderful episode on this program. Thank you so much for those of you that have been able to join. Uh, I have another people online. If you are a family member, you are a family Kemi Glamour Braid, that's my auntie, my mentor. I love you so much. Thank you for being my support bone. I love you. I love you, Auntie Kemi. God bless you. Rashida Adeyemo, thank you all. Uh, once again for joining this uh, episode we love you we appreciate you i am not myself if i do not appreciate somebody who has been my backbone my love my my man my love i call him my lord and my love my Uh, husband the man who had seen me since i was young and he took me in to be his baby (laughs) yeah i love you so much honey um my husband mr kola wale at dbc Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for being there for me. I love you and I will continue to love you. Thank you so much, my husband. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to my children out there, my sons, my three boys, I love you. Lady, thank you so much, everybody. Next week is going to be a very wonderful week. I'm going to see you next week. Lorette, what do you want to tell people out there? Oh. I'm going to tell people to live their dream, you know. Oh, yeah. Live, live the, your Live your dream. dream and start now, not tomorrow. Start now. You don't have now. control about tomorrow. Only oh. God. Oh, you mm-hmm. do not have control about tomorrow. God mm-hmm. does. So you have to start now. Yes. yes. That's a key word for you that I wish you would hold with you and do something with it. Until next week, I come to your screen again. My name is Kemi Salah Davis. Elegant. Love you. Bye. Say okay, bye to everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody.